Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. I'll bring you somewhere like that, I think, and then we will bring this one up to here. So we want to go like that. We've got that one right there. We want to go to course generation, and we've already loaded a field four on here. We've got one defined. We want to go to headland. Two pa I'm thinking two passes. I have been told that doing three passes on the headland is really what you want to try and do with every course that you do. It does make life a little bit better for everything else. But I'm not sure we've actually got room for three passes on the headland with this fertilizer spinner. I, I think two. It, it needs to be two passes. Headland corners, I've been doing turn. I've been doing turn as, as the headland, as, as the corners for everything. So let's just see what this one does a minute. We'll go with the current vehicle position as a starting point like that. <laughs> that is three times around the edge. <laughs> That's not very much at all, is it? Let's, try, let's, let's just try generating that again with uh, twice around the edge. It's not a lot different, is it? I think we will give it a go with that, and we'll see what it's like. But uh, I, I think I think that's. I, I'm hoping it's going to be all right. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be all right. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Right, uh, field, not field, field for uh, fertilizer. We want with that one. There, so we do fertilizer like that, and we will start the course at the first waypoint. And then I'll just get rid of that a second, and I will bring this tractor back over here. Actually, I'm just going to spin it around in a nice big circle like this. I will go over to there so that we're roughly lined up with the beginning of it, like that. And then we will go drive course. There. Right. Everything is going perfectly. I actually... A couple more things that we want to do. I want to go to settings in here. Actually, that one we can get rid of the actual lines now, just, just for a change. And we'll go into here, 12K and 12K. I'm going to get rid of that a second. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to go here. No, Alps Panorama, we are actually supposed to be in kilometers for this one. So I've got that bit right. We're kilometers an hour for that one. Uh, we don't want dollary dues. We want normal um, euro dues for this one. Euros right there and kilometers. That's what we want for this one. And then we've got well that's 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 fine in there. That that can go like that. And then if I go into here, so 12, 24, 12, that I'm thinking is alright. The only other one was there, advanced settings, when to race. Uh, I do those the other way round. Now apparently some of the issues I've had at other times, um, Changing that setting, the early raise, um, late drop uh, to the other way around, is potentially what has caused me some of my issues at times. But I'm hoping that's not going to be all of it. I'm hoping that there were like other factors at play that stopped it from working properly. But anyway, that is now spreading fertilizer. So we can just jump through there. We've got one more coat going on now. We're going to need another coat after this, which means that we're going to need a vehicle with care wheels in order to do it. Otherwise, we just have two coats of fertilizer on the field. I don't really want to do it with just two coats of fertilizer, so we're going to have to find a care wheel tractor to do the second round. I don't know if that fertilizer spreader is going to be able to do it either. It might be... Actually, I'll tell you what. We could do that with the herbicide sprayer. Right? We dump out the, fertil we dump out the herbicide that we've got, and we can do it with that. We can spray fertilizer on. Um, we just use, yeah, liquid fertilizer, uh, yeah, yeah, liquid fertilizer, that, that would be fine, that would work. So we can do that. Now, I want to take a hop, skip, and a jump over to here, to this one. That's looking pretty good for full. I'm not going to be bringing any bales over at the moment, because it's hoofing it down with rain, and I, I don't really want that. We've got a full capacity of half a million total mixed ration in there. We've got 233,000 grass, 267 straw, and 147,000 silage. So we can do with a little bit more silage going in here. Our animals right this second we're not bad for animals but we could go and put a little bit more in 
I got bits for every... I think the grass is coming up from the actual pen. That's where I think that grass is coming from. And, and we're down a little bit on food there. We've got 314 pigs now, 335 cows. We're doing well. So if I take this one back and we put in a load of feed for the cows to start with. Put this load in and then we will possibly have a look at getting some more silage in. I'm still not really certain what I want to do with the silage bunker over there. We've got that beautiful area with the silage bunker. Like the, the land has all been leveled off. It's looking really good. But I don't have anything yet to put on it. I don't want to keep the bunker there anymore. I'd like to... I'm going to go forward a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't want to keep the bunker there anymore. I'd like to do something different with that. I'm just not sure what, because this field here is where I was going to put the second cattle pen when we go for a second cattle pen. It's going to go right there beside this first one and stay the same height as it as well. I'm, I'm actually going to do some work, landscaping work, before I even put the cattle pen in to ensure that it is all on the same level. I'm thinking possibly that other uh, the, the bunker over there could take a second pig pen because we do want a second pig pen at some point that was another thing that we were going to do was have two pig pens so we could put that one out over there that would allow for then we're, we're not sort of crowding anything else in right we, we've we've got everything else out where it all wants to be and there shouldn't be any problems whatsoever so whether I, I, that might work. We might be able to do it like that. I, I'm not really sure. Now, the one thing that I'm not going to do is I'm not going to move any vehicles that have got loose straw or anything like that while it's raining. We will wait until the rain stops before I start doing anything with straw or with hay or any, anything, any of the above. I won't move any of it until it stops raining. So we've got all those straw bales in there. And I do want to get those into the mixed feeder over this side. Another trailer load of those into the mixed feeder would be good. And then we can start moving some loose material as well. Now hay will have to be moved from the other one. I can actually use that bigger crone there to move the hay. I can't move silage with it. Can I? No, I can move silage with it. I just can't move TMR. I do wonder if that is the right one to use though. I do wonder if perhaps we should use something different for that one. I've got silage over here now. So we can load that one there up with silage. So I'm, I'm going to take this tractor, uh, this trailer rather. I'm going to bring this one back over here. And pop that one in under that spout like that. And I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to start that bad boy up. I'm going to stop that tractor. I'm not going to do anything else. So we've got the silage in here. Now, I have got currently 646,000 litres of silage in there. And then we've got hay over in the one over the other side. So we've got lots in there. And then we've still got bales of straw. The straw that we get this year will be going into this silo. Now, I know that they're all linked together, so I can just put anything in anywhere, really. Uh, I was thinking that... Maybe we should continue keeping them separate as far as uh, just role-playing a little bit. I don't do that much role-playing on this. It's mostly just about getting the scale up. Um, but we could just make sure that we, we only go for grain on this one. And empty grain out from that auger. And then this one over here is for the other bulk material. So we can just say that this grid is a different input design. So it's um, augers designed for bulk material. And then that way we've got the straw can come out of there. It wouldn't be a pipe like that. If we had a large bulk straw storage system, it would look more like that over there. It's just that we've got it on a larger scale over here. I've never actually seen any of these, anything like that. I've, I've never seen it in real life. I know that they exist all over the world. They're, they're more common in Eastern Europe than they are in Western Europe. That's for certain sure. Um... But I've never personally seen anything like that one in action before. There are dryers. There are ones that just store loose hay. And they have blowers and that in them that, that do blow the material out. So it's, it's definitely something that does exist. It's definitely something that does happen. It's just I personally have never clapped eyes on one. Now, the pigs here, I don't know if I can draw. I think I can. I think I can just go and get a bale from over there, which would be... 
something for us to do while well, that course play tractor is still moseying around that course. We could just grab a bale and dump it in here. It will use up a little bit of it, but it won't use up like masses of it. Uh, straw. One bale at 8,000 litres is going to be all we want. Now, it's 8.21 in the morning. So I think, really, we should keep the fast forward going. It's 08.21. We keep the fast forward going while that's working over in the field over there. Hopefully, it will stop raining at some point. We've got 127,000 litres in here. I'm going to leave that one piling up as well. There is a time limit on when you can actually send things out, isn't there? There is actually a time limit. So we've I've got right there that 127,000. It's going to cost me four and a half grand. I get 200. <laughs> wow. 270,000 dollars back. 270,000 euros. Sorry. That is an insane amount of money. 270,000. So what's the price that we're being offered here? 2151 from the grain mill over there. That is an insane amount of money. That really is a ludicrously high amount of money for milk. Right, well, it stopped raining now. This is a good thing. We've got a little bit of grass over here. It's growing. Needs lime. It says it's fertilized 33%. Ooh. That's a point. Take that. Right. Uh, I'm going to just slow that. Actually, no, I'm not going to slow the runaway time scale away. I don't need to do that because... Uh, but I do want to put fertilizer on those fields. I didn't even think about that, did I? Didn't even think about that. And I should have done that after we did the mowing. And I completely forgot. So we going to have to be a little bit careful with what we do there. Otherwise, we're going to end up missing one of our fertilizer coats. And I, I really, really don't want to do that. Still 2151. We're approaching midday. I'm just going to let this keep going until mid-afternoon. Then I will stop, and then we will do something. So we go. Let's let's go and have a look at the tractor working away in the field. This one is just fine. We can't do anything else with this field until we've had another growth stage, which will be day five, midsummer, I think. If my calculations prove correct. And this one is got the hired help spreading the fertilizer rather than uh, using up the fertilizer that's in the machine. That's something I'm going to keep that running. I am going to keep that running. I know it's a little bit expensive. The money does tick down a little bit there, but uh, I I'm actually all right with that. And we're half past one in the afternoon. These prices haven't changed here. That one is now coming up, but I'm not sure it's going to reach that kind of level. So I'm quite happy with just letting it go. It's only got to run a little bit further. Four, uh, uh, four o'clock. 1,400 is two o'clock. Two o'clock in the afternoon now. We go one more hour. I can't see these prices getting up as high as that. I don't think I've seen that price before. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of wary. I don't, I don't really want to lose that price. I mean, I know as soon as it does change, we can stop this the, the time actually i'm going to stop the time ticking forward now any any second i just want it to go forward another few and there we go right we will stick with that so you can just finish up that little bit and then you'll be getting on to the grass in a second i want the closest i think this is about the closest vehicle i've got to the cattle yes it is we will run over here i'm going to send them off right now with 146,467 liters of milk right here we will go like that that's gonna get 309,000 it's over 310 it's over 315,000 euros we've got to pay a little bit five grand for the milk to to, to pay for it but that, that's fine i'm quite happy with that look at that three hundred and fifteen thousand euros i've got half a million euros now which means that i've actually got enough money to go and install the second cattle pen already i'm thinking we will actually there is no need to wait right there is absolutely no reason for me to wait for that is there i cannot think of one i can think of no reason whatsoever to wait for that okay i will go to you i will go there I will stop driver like that and I will clear current course and then I will do that and now I will 
drive away from here and we will spin round this way. Which way am I spinning? We spin round this way. And we've got field three to do with course play. The other two fields I'll probably just do manually because it's just going to be fast to do it like that. Uh, I think I will actually just go and do the other two grass fields manually a minute. Then we can set course play going on field three while we go and do the animal fields. Oh no, he's already folded it up. He already folded it up to finish that one. So we're running through this way. I'll go right in through the yard. Course play can fertilize field three there. I should be able to do that without any problems. I need to run round here. Now I've obviously got all the fertilizer that I could possibly need. So I'm not going to need to concern myself with that. And um, there's a few patches and bits of mess in here. I'm going to do that and immediately start spreading fertilizer on here. Maybe overlapping a little bit into the yard. Possibly don't need to be spreading fertilizer right into the yard. But at least it allows me to sort of come out around this corner and get all of it without um, missing little bits. I do so hate missing little bits. He says, with bits missing all over the field, i got patches of grass, i got patches of hay lying around. That honestly is such a slovenly looking job that we've done in this field here. It is utterly ridiculous. We should be ashamed of ourselves. We should genuinely be ashamed of ourselves for this particular job. Um, yeah, well, there's, there's, there's no helping it, really. Okay, we will let that run through there. I would also like to do another field. I'd like to plough up another field so that I can extend this land further and have another grass field because we've only got this bit. And if we're going to go and get another cattle pen already, then I'm thinking that what we've got here is not going to be enough. I'm also thinking a larger capacity trailer because the 45,000 litres, if we're having to do that more regularly with a second cattle pen as well, then that's going to end up taking quite a bit longer for everything to happen. And I, it, it's, it's one of those daily things that I don't want to be doing every day. I'd like to do as like as as little as possible on it i mean i suppose one forty-five thousand liter trailer per day per pen is is not so bad we, we are able to do that and you can only get two days worth in the uh, uh, season stuff anyway can't you you can only have two days worth of food in the pen which is a bit of a shame because it used to be three days it used to you add a little bit more leeway but they've gone and tightened that one up and yes, admittedly, in real life, you would have to do them every day. So it sort of does go along quite nicely with that. But still, at the same time, maybe if we just had a larger capacity trailer. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure about that one. Maybe. Maybe we will. I'll, I'll, I'll have a think about that. I mean, get in the comment section, by all means. Let me know. Do you think I should go with a bigger trailer than the 45,000 litre one that we've got at the moment? Do you think I should go for something um, bigger still? We can move around with a tractor. We still want to be moving it around with a tractor. I don't want to do it any different than that. Um, just a larger capacity on the trailer so that I'm able to move more at once. Now, obviously, the... Um, the forage wagon we've got there won't take the TMR. It will take everything else that we need to handle in bulk. That's the straw and the hay and the grass and silage as well. But it won't take the total mixed ration. It will only take the, um, the ingredients for it rather than the actual mixed ration itself. So we've got kind of a little bit of a limitation on it. It's, it's not a huge limitation, but it does just mean that when we come to feeding the animals, we need a different trailer to what we can use for putting all of the ingredients into the mixer in the first place. I don't think that's going to ultimately result in being a bad thing. Having a dedicated feed trailer is definitely not a bad thing. It means that you're able to just park it under the spout and leave it full at all times. I mean, we've got some bigger trailers in the shop. We can go and have a look at those in a minute. I'm going to get this one over onto field three and get the hired help working away doing that field. There we go. We're going to do this in a single pass. We are there. I may have left a tiny, tiny little smidgen 
there on the ends, but nothing really to speak of. So there's that bit done. Now I can come over to here like that, and then I can go here, and I can go there, and field three fertilizer is the one that I want like that. You are the one that I want. And then we're going to go first waypoint like that. And I'm going to drive over this way. And then I'm going to spin round like that. So hopefully it picks up more. And then I'm just going to go drive course like that. So it should start the fertilizer going fairly close to the beginning of the course. Right there. There we go. And hopefully when it comes back round the field, it will get all the rest of it. So that one's away. That one's going to be dreadfully busy for a little while. We're going to get sprayed with fertilizer as we run away from it. And we can leave that one go now. We can trust that one to get on with its work. And then we should be able to get another growth stage out of that grass before we have to worry about... Let's go there and click on the grass like that. We're on this growth stage by the look of it. First one. So we should get another growth stage out of it before it goes to the harvestable stage. At least this is what I'm hoping. And that way we can get the other fertilizer on. But I was thinking of plowing that field up, up there. So we will also put that one in. You can't... I think there is actually... somebody. I'm sure somebody said there is a mod you can get where you can number fields and you can make notes on the map. Which would be very cool. You can't make notes on the map at the moment, not. but I think there is a mod you can get for it. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. That one is six. That one's seven and that one's eight up there. This one here is the one that I want. And I want that as a grass field and that will be field nine. I did think about extending it out so that we also use up that bit down there. But I'm, I'm not really sure that that would work out very well for us. Uh, before I go up there and do that... I'm just going to run around and feed the chickens and the pigs. And then once I've fed chickens and pigs, we'll then go and have a quick look at that field. Because we've still got another round of fertilizer to do on each of the fields, it might actually be worth doing... Okay, I need to change to the correct trailer here. There we go. And tip you out. Uh, yeah, it might actually be worth getting the plowing of that new field underway now. So then we can also get the planting underway because it doesn't really matter when you plant it. And that means that next year it will be ready then for um, doing some grass. So the grass won't be ready for harvesting this year. But we can at least, we, you know, we, we've got a job that a tractor can be working away on while we're sort of waiting for other things to happen. And it's also one of those jobs that's not particularly important if it doesn't get done immediately. It's it's one of those that can actually wait without affecting anything. So unload that one right there. And canola, I got seven, I got 800 litres of canola left. And then we're, we're, we're done with canola. That's it. And we have no... Actually, do we? I have got a field of canola right there. So we may have canola coming back before we completely run out. We may. There's no guarantee, though. I'm on midsummer. Well, we might. We might. We might just get there. So I'll bring you over to here, and I will change to there and unhitch that trailer, and then I will get the straw spreader on here. Now, remember, we only put straw in for the pigs. The cattle have a non-straw system that they have, and... That means we get slur we get a supply of slurry from the cattle and we get a supply of manure from the pigs. We've not spread any manure on any fields anywhere yet. I believe there is a course play thing you can get to have it course play load with manure from any pen into the animal of into a, 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 um, a trailer of your choice. I don't want to do that though. We will just load... Ma if we're going to do it, we'll just load manually. I'll get a nice big bucket to do it. So I'm not quite sure what, but I've seen various different buckets. Maybe... I Ooh, we, there is the silage grab. There's a big silage bucket thing that we could use. A si silage fork. Uh, the, the base game silage fork. It takes like 10,000 litres. I don't know if we can use one of them for it. It'd be quite cool if we can. I'm just going to stop you right there. 
and I want to have a look in shop. Uh, incidentally, we do now have access to the new, um, is it Borjol? I think it's Borjol. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Um, DLC. I don't have it active on the map at the moment. I've got to activate it before I started recording this time around, but um, it is available. And I was thinking we might try and bring it out in this series. We are go big or go home, and that is pretty big. So we might be able to squeeze it in here somewhere. Anyway, uh, well, we're not going to do that right now. There's a couple things I want to look at. Was One was the trailers. Let's see what trailers we've got. See, I've got some Stevie trailers right here. That one there takes 60,000 litres. This one here is not a Stevie trailer. That one is a Stevie trailer, and that takes everything. And that's very similar to the one that I've got. Uh, we'll set capacity standard at 52, extension at 60,000. A 60,000 litre trailer is pretty good. I like this idea. Also, it's got this extension bit on here. What is that? Is that like a, a lid? Is that... I, I don't know what this bit is. Does that just extend the sides up a little bit? Is that what it's supposed to do? Or maybe it's like a static thing that doesn't actually do anything. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. But that one could be a good one to go for. Because our current trailer has only got a capacity of 52,000 litres. And the problem that I've got with it... Oh, that crone there. See, that one doesn't take mixed feed either. Like, it does take sugarcane. It takes silage and chaff. As does that one. Uh, that Stroutman there, 52,000, that takes everything. And then 48, and then you, you go back over here. So we've got the aggro liner right there. Now, what I was doing to kind of see what the... Um, it was, I was zoomed out as much as I could on it over here, and then sort of have a look at the height compared to that bit right there. And then it's, it's, it's a bit difficult to sort of test the height of the trailers. Right, I bring that one back, and I lower down, and that one... I don't think the camera is in any further, so I believe that these trailers are actually higher. Right, I don't think that camera is in a different position. But that trailer definitely looks like it's in a higher position at the side of it there. So that one there, that one should in theory be lower down. Bring that out. Uh, maybe it's not. Let's go to a really small trailer like that one and see. See, I zoom out there. We've got a nice big gap. This is what I'm... So I'm, I'm wondering, because that one, I... I'm pretty sure that one there is lower on the sides than the other ones that we've got at the other options. And this is why I'm kind of wondering which one I should go for. Because these... Well, for a start, though, that, that one... This one here, 52,000, is Stroutman. And then we've got the Stevie option, which takes us up to 60,000. A 55,000 euro trailer there. But we are able to carry a lot more. And that would make life a bit easier for us if that trailer is able to be moved around by our tractor. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with the extension on this one. We'll leave the colouring as we've got on there. The wheels stay as they are. And we will buy that one at $60,000 for 60,000 litres. Actually, no, wait, back. Have we got anything else? What else have we got? What other options have we got? Is that one there. That goes up to 90,000, but that's... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.